want to turn to, to the rallies. Um, President Trump is obviously on the trail rallying, but so is former President Obama. Here's um, something he had to say. I want to get your reaction on the other side. Throughout human history, <laughs> certainly throughout American history, politicians have exaggerated. They make promises that they may try to fulfill, but then it turns out to be harder than it, they expected. What we have not seen before, in our recent public life at least, is politicians just blatantly, repeatedly, baldly, shamelessly lying, making stuff up. So, yeah. David, he's, he's calling him a liar. Uh, by the way, also trying to take credit for the economy. Um, what, what's your response? <laughs> well, it, look, let's be realistic. This is the liar in chief. If you like your health care, you can keep it. Let's not forget that Barack Obama lied to every American, regardless of your party, every American about your health care in order to ram Obamacare down your throat. So let's not forget that. And this president, to take credit for an economy that is now booming, this president, President Trump, campaigned on jobs, 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 and bringing our economy back. And of course, he has been incredibly successful. Unemployment down to 3.7. Our GDP in the third quarter, in the second quarter, uh, 4.2. In the third quarter, 3.5 now just comes out. So we are ha our economy is on fire because of this president. It, it didn't start with a president who doubled our national debt. When he became president, when President Obama came into office, uh, it was about $10 trillion. And when he left, it was at about $20 trillion. It took 220 plus years to get to $10 trillion. In eight years, he doubled it. How irresponsible could you be? This president is going to grow us out of it. David, in nine days, voters will go to the polls and, and decide who they believe. Is it Barack Obama or is it Donald Trump? Uh, is the line that the President Trump is using, you're better off now, are you better off now than you were two years ago? Promises made, promises kept. Is that That's going right. to resonate enough to carry the House and keep it in Republican hands? Well, I certainly hope so. It's, it's historically going to be very difficult, obviously, uh, you know, on Election Day to keep the House. But it, this is something that we have in every race across this country, that argument that our policies, the Republican Party's position on policies, along with President Trump, is going to allow America to continue to succeed economically and from a foreign policy standpoint. This is a very, very important election. If you want to see chaos, like you're seeing at the border, like you saw during the Justice Kavanaugh hearings, if you want the, the mobs versus jobs mentality, if you want that argument, then elect Democrats. If you want more success with our economy, if you want a better future for your children, then you have to think about who is in the job and who's going to do that job uh, best for the American people. And I think that those are the Republican candidates across the country. And that is the case the president's making. He said he was going to go on the road and do four or five rallies a week. A lot of people were skeptical, and he's done that and more. David Bossie, right. thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you, David. Thanks for having me.